Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, remember to make a shout out before I make my next proper video because I keep forgetting. Uh, I want to make uh, or give a shout out to Garage Geek who uh, did me a solid the other day and gave me a shout out uh, and also jumped on my thread about uh, the uh, music made me do it. Uh, you know, seeing films because you heard good music and maybe regretting it afterwards. So, um, you know, uh, Garage Geek, thank you so much. Um, check him out and uh, give him a sub. I sh sure did. Uh, lots of interesting stuff there. Um, so, yeah, thanks again, and um, I'll see you later, guys. Take care. Yeah, so uh, now we're obviously in uh, the record shop. This is my favorite record shop in probably in Scandinavia. It's called Big Dipper. So the reason I thought I'd um, narrate this is that because, you know, arriving in the shop, I was aware that they were playing very loud music and um, I, I'm not really that uh, knowledgeable as far as YouTube and music goes, but I noticed that they, um, as soon as I tried to put up this video, I got a warning that it was going to be uh, blocked. Uh, so I just thought I'd go in here and turn off the sound while I'm in the record store. But then again, um, you know, this is uh, not a Charlie Chaplin film, so that... That made me want to just uh, tell you about this. So these bins that I'm looking through here, um, they had had their prices slashed about 70%, um, which seemed enticing because these are new uh, vinyl records. In the background there in the bin, you see the black one there, they had some used stuff where they started at about $10 and then knocked off $2 for each record you bought after that. But I was there to buy the Yethro Tull uh, Deluxe set. And um, in itself, in itself cost around $60. So I could have just, of course, gone to the shop and bought it and gone back. But I, I, I wanted you guys to see the shop. And I have shown it uh, to you guys before briefly. Uh, so... Um, 
yeah, I, th- I thought I'd uh, just film it, you know, but uh, the girls were playing some good music. There were some, um, yeah, there were some uh, strokes going on at this stage, I think. They were also playing some poppy, um, meaningless uh, garbage at some stage, but uh, which I don't understand why that should be a problem. Um, but uh, that's uh, YouTube, I suppose. Um, there's some lovely yellow album there. Uh, yeah, no, I I wanna I wanna learn about these things, of course. But uh, as as long as my member, uh, you know, my subscribers are uh, just in the low uh, hundreds, uh, that's not gonna be an issue, unless of course they block the the video itself. Um, that will be a hassle because I I don't store these videos anywhere, so I I don't uh, I'm not that advanced yet. Uh, we'll see later on. Uh, these were um, these were some great uh, newcomers here. Um, Sparks, of course, is supposed to be the the Renaissance band of the day. I got an old Sparks album while I was in Denmark. I haven't had the chance to listen to it yet, but I am as f- I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of you guys are really, really, um, you know, um, who watched the the Sparks documentary film. Uh, I'm really intrigued and want to learn much more about them. Uh, so yeah, oh Saxon, I love Saxon. They they're my one of my favorite hard rock bands. You know, you you, you can never be you can never be you know negative towards Saxon. They've done done their bit. So here were some pretty good um, used stuff. Most of them labeled played like once, but they were expensive. So. Um, Obviously, a few out of print things there. So, there were a couple of records that I nearly bought while I was there, and the the there was supposed to be a Huskudu record uh, out uh, on this uh, this weekend, but they hadn't gotten it. So, and this is the other record I really want. It's the hardcover Lemonheads, but it's so expensive in Norway. It's a hundred and thirty dollars. So yeah, thanks for watching. And listening.
Hey lads and lasses, welcome to my channel. Um, so this is Morten Ostad and I have been to the record shop. Uh, about 10, 10 or 11 days ago I went online uh, with the Norway's biggest online uh, retail for music, DVDs, Blu-rays, Flop the Compania, the record company. And I ordered some stuff and uh, I ordered the latest uh, record of a band I love a lot. And I decided to then also pick up their previous record uh, because I wanted uh, both of them in a format, uh, which is two CDs and one uh, Blu-ray uh, surround uh, thing. And pretty much right away, I got uh, the notice back from them that yes, uh, we've got an order together, and we'll be shipping that out in a couple of weeks uh, because most of it is not uh, in our stock. However, first one of those that I ordered, they immediately cancelled. I said, no, that's out of print. You, you can't get that anymore. I thought, oh my god, am I going to have to discog this? Because I'm already uh, short a few of their records uh, as far as uh, the deluxe editions go, and they're costing a lot of money now. And so I went online with Big Dipper, and I didn't think they would have it because usually they don't have CDs. They do have some CDs in box sets that are mixed with vinyl, but rarely purely CDs. But um, they did actually have this copy in the shop. So um, even though it's kind of expensive and it wasn't exactly what I intended to do, I went yesterday and I, I picked it up. So it's um, Yesrotel, the Zealot. Gene. And the reason I'm getting this on CD, well, if you could see up here, I have all those beautiful books. Um, well, unfortunately, I don't have all of them. I'm missing four, uh, but I have all those others. And there obviously are CDs, and uh, I have some older CDs as well. I have a box set from back when I was a teenager um which is vinyl but i didn't i don't want to start buying them on vinyl as well because if i buy one then i'm gonna have that voice in my head i said i have to get them all and yeah like i've said in a previous video i'm not made of money so let's have a look at this bad boy so there's a hype sticker which I usually what I do with my hype stickers in case anyone is wondering um, the ones that are in books and vinyl albums I cut them out with a pair of scissors and I stuck them somewhere inside the, uh, the record itself the ones that come with um, uh, the ones that come in um, digipack CDs I usually lift uh, the CD off and stick them in there or if not again I just cut them out and put them in somewhere so I don't I don't put them in an envelope somewhere uh, but I also don't immediately throw them away so a lot of you have probably seen this in other videos but let's have a look anyway here we have them the uh, actual record of course and we have uh, yeah all of these are demos and this is uh, one of the reasons I wanted this version and um, uh, because I've, I've been listening to 5.1 uh, mixes and stuff on my uh, surround sound system which is over there with my television and all that stuff and my movie collection so I wanted to follow up on that and um, that's why the Rackflöte, his next album, is also on uh, in this exact format um, so uh, I love Jethro Tull now since I was, uh, I know I heard them when I was a little kid, uh, but I got into them on my own probably around 87 or 88 when I also got into stuff like The Doors. Because I moved from, you know, only Rolling Stones and stuff like that when I was growing up and 70s stuff. Then I got into 80s and Synthesizer and then almost immediately very much into heavy metal 
And then I just decided, you know, I'm a kid who listened to everything, anything. So yeah, yes, Rotel, I love them a lot. And of course, they have, he hasn't released uh, a proper album as yet, Rotel, for about 20 years. And then he released this, which is now roughly two years ago. And then only 14 months passed and he, uh, he released the one that came out this spring, Röckflöte. I'm saying Röckflöte or Röckflöte uh, since it's supposed to look like it's Norse or Icelandic Norse. So, I don't know if that's right, but we can talk about that when hopefully I get that album next week. Is this from Barcelona, from the Gaudi Cathedral? He's an interesting person. I really like him. Wonderful speaking voice. Yeah, so um, I'm really glad I got this and then just get the next one and then have to deal with uh, knowing I can't complete a collection. To me, that's kind of a piece of sand in my eye. So yeah, I'm uh, really happy I got this. I'm looking so forward to listening to it. I usually don't listen to albums and then come back and talk about them. That's not really my forte. Maybe I can make it my forte later on. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for having a look at my uh, well, unboxing. Um, my first look at Yes Rotel's The Zealot Game. Uh, the Zealot Gene, sorry. And uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to this. And uh, inspires you to go out and at least listen to it so uh, thank you so much for watching um, please uh, have a lovely summer please click like click subscribe it helps me a lot inspires me and I uh, hope to see you again soon in another video take care